Hey, Eric Allen from Fast Rescue Solutions. In this video, we're going to show you how to do a partial and a full reset on the new lashing system. Um, we have one of our new sand boards. It's a lighted board. We'll show you some of that. But if you have one of our old lashing systems and you want to get it upgraded, please get in touch with us at info at fastrescuesolutions.com. So let's go ahead and get this board stripped down and we'll go over the whole thing. So if we're on an incident where we have multiple victims, to do a full reset would take a lot of time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a partial reset so we can get in to get another rescue, another iteration going right away. Once we've gone in, we've pulled our patient out, we've taken them off the board. We don't need to tuck everything away so we can take our lashing system, extend it back out. Just drop our extra large carabiner back in its spot. Right here. Take our tri-link, pull the webbing forward up on the board, drop it back into its spot. Take our rope bag, throw it back down on the board. Whatever rope we have pulled out, we don't need to get it all packed away. We can just throw it back on the board, get a hold of everything, pick it up, start moving in for another iteration. So now we're gonna do the full reset on the board. You've gone in, you've facilitated your rescue, you're back outside, you're gonna set it back up for storage or for another reset to make sure everything is where it needs to be. So take our extra large carabiner. We wanna pull straight down. A little easier if you got somebody to hit both the cam buckles at the same time. But you're gonna extend it out to here. Put it back into his position. Same thing with our tri-link. We want to pull it all the way forward, bend it over, and put it into its designated position. All of these bags do not need to be taken off or really shouldn't be taken off because as soon as I take it off and I set it down on a fire ground, it's just going to disappear on us. This is one of the reasons why we've got a bunch of extra Velcro on the board. So if I'm going to go to reset this strapping here, I can just stick it to that Velcro. I'm going to pull my webbing straight down the board, get a pinch, work one of the corners into the slot right here, and then just feed it in into the empty space inside the board. So we get everything nice and smooth and we cut down all our snag hazards. Now I can put my bag back in place and I can do the other side. Again, pull that webbing straight down. Try not to pull it up here to get a pinch. I wanna pull straight down the board, get a little pinch, work a corner into the board and then just feed it in. Everything's nice and smooth. Put my bag back into its position. Same thing on the lower end here. I'm gonna stretch the webbing forward, get a little pinch, feed it into the slot, just make sure everything's smooth and everything stays in place. And I can move that, get that pinch, work it in, put my bag back in place. With my rope bag, this should be, should be a stuff sack. You could open it up and try to stuff it off the board, but it's designed so that we can push it down onto the Velcro itself, open the bag up. Now it's got a stable platform, so it's not gonna move around on us, and we can just work everything into our stuff sack. One thing with this, never coil the rope and put it inside. You just want to have it stuffed inside the bag so it'll feed out right from the side there. Once we've got this folded over, to keep this carabiner from flopping around, you can run it underneath the Velcro strap here so it's going to stay in place. This would be your full reset. You're ready to go back into storage, so you'd be good to go the next time.